age of men is over. The time of the Orc has come. You heard it guys, the age of men is over. The time of the Oryx has come and you know what Sauron likes to say. Against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. Against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. And we're gonna we're gonna prove the statement of the White Wizard Sauron. We're gonna play Mordor against seven heart armies in battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06 without a castle. They're gonna play on the map Rune, which only offers us the camps. Let's get it started. So we did it but pretty much with Isengard, Gondor and Rohan, Mordor is left from all the four factions in BFME 1. Let's see if we got what it takes to also be victorious with the Mordor faction. We're gonna start with our Orc Fed and Gollum. We can even make... no, we, we can't afford that one. We have to buy this uh, Lumber Mills first. We see already one Eye of Sauron from the opponent, which means we have at least one Mordor opponent to face against. This troll, what is this troll doing actually from this creep? I don't know. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't attack me, please, troll. Uh oh, look this, look this. This is crazy. Gotta cancel this one so he retreats. He lost so much time because of that, actually. That's unbelievable. And maybe we can also use Eye of Sauron, right? Because we can also use that to reveal the open infection. So we see um, this is Isengard at the bottom left side. Uh, let's move to the middle. We see a Gondor right there next to us. Uh, we need to also make some more workers, by the way, to get some more money. This is also Isengard, two Isengards on the left side, which is kind of bad for us because they're gonna attack us all the time. And we can also try to buy this one, shall we? Okay, let's go. I mean, we can try to stall time a little bit, at least. Uh, we cannot fight with the Golem against his arches, that's not possible. We see double archer range, statue, and uh, barracks. So this guy is popping off already, wanna, wanna defeat us really, really fast. I know we cannot keep this Lumber Mills protected, not even for a minute, but at least they're gonna keep the opponent busy. So they want they won't be able to target these uh, Malon trees any soon. Which is the main purpose. You can also buy this one. You see a Rohan right there, and this was Isengard too. So Isengard, Isengard, Isengard. And we see Gondor Rohan on the right side. Let's also check the opponent in the middle with the Golem. Right now we have so much uh, wood bonus. And that's why the Orc Pit, which normally costs 400, costs you now only 280. That's why we can now afford that. Uh, we can you now potentially build up every single building inside the base. Cheap. You see a Mordor in the middle. So you see all the four factions. Gondor, Rohan, Mordor and Isengard on the left side. Isengard I think is the hardest faction to face against as Mordor. Because um, Isengard is able to negate all the leadership from us later on. We gotta keep that in mind. And we can also try to make another slaughterhouse right there because ideally, early on, we're gonna try to save for uh, a Nazgul. Let's make some more orcs. orcs. The good thing about the Mordor faction is that you get also money, uh, I mean power points from losing stuff. But we have to definitely make some more towers just to be, you know, kind of safe. Uh, Mordor and Rohan and even, uh, you know, Isengard, they have much more towers available than the Gondor. As you could see in the latest video. Uh, the problem here with the slumber mill is there are not many many trees nearby. So they have to walk all the time. But on the bright side we were able to actually buy. You know all these uh, buildings inside our camp quite cheap. Because we had the most uh, wood bonus you can have. From 4 lumber mills. 30% uh, reduction. in your When it, when it comes to build your uh, structures in your base pretty much. So we have a lot of orcs. Let's move forward for the attack. Let's try to buy some time, let's try to keep the opponent unit busy. The thing is, I'm worried about this side of the map, so we can maybe check this area. Uh, and again, orcs for Mordor are for free, they are gonna cost us some command points though. And command points is something we cannot afford too much. Luckily our Nazgul, oh there is a troll, but it looks like the Isengard player was able to creep this one, unfortunately for us. Orcs are gonna die quite fast, we have to just stall time. And try to keep them away from our buildings. That's their only purpose and also power points. Because look at this. We have no match. I mean, we are no match against this army right now. With orcs all alone. And they are, you know, doing, doing a purpose. But Isengard is going to attack now from the left side. And Gondor is going to attack now from the top side. With the help of Isengard, we see crossbowmen. That means we're going to lose this Lumber Mill first. There's no way we can keep it alive. 
Let's try to beat them into the range of the, of the towers and try to keep them away, shall we? Okay, we're gonna also use now um, the Tainted Land, which will which we actually need uh, because... Come on, dude. Uh, which we need because we need to get industry unlocked as soon as possible to boost our resources. Luckily, we have almost the money for the Nazgul. Let's go for that. I mean, ideally, you would like to save for um, the Witch King, but Witch King costs you 3,000 more resources, and I, and I believe we cannot afford that right now. So we gotta stall until our uh, buildings, I mean, the, the slaughterhouses at least, are gonna be level 3. Because that's gonna make them way tankier, and also, uh, they're gonna act like a tower from the evil faction. Now we have the power points unlocked for the industry, let's use it immediately. And Mordor is quite hard early on, you can see that, but later on, once we get some trolls and we have leadership, you know, I think we should be in good terms. Uh, the problem is we have also one Mordor open end, it means if he gets a Nazgul or a Witch King on the field, our <laughs> trolls are gonna be kinda useless. Let's fight, this why not. Keep them away. And look at this, level 2 already, this one, this one, all of them are gonna hit level 2 very soon and we have the Nazgul already on the field, which is quite nice. Let's use them to kill the crossbow man. We can also use Screech. So they are not going to be able to attack us back. But we need to be careful because Heart Army is dealing extra damage. Normally they wouldn't be able to deal that much damage to our Nazgul. Because, we, but it's, you know, Heart Army, that's why our Nazgul is taking a lot of damage. And we have to indeed dis disengage already. The next hero we're going to save for is going to be the Witch King himself. And then we're going to make the transition into the Troll Cage to get some strong trolls on the field. But again, we have to deal eventually with many, many, um, say it, with many, many uh, crossbow men, condo archers, and so on. We can maybe buy this one, actually, just why not? And make an orc pit there as well, just to be able to spam a lot of units. Nazgul has to still peel back a little bit. Let's make an orc pits here and double furnace here. Furnaces at the outpost is a way better choice, because they are way tankier. But, oh, we need to use the Nazgul to deal with the Urukai. As long as he doesn't have any crossbow men around this side, we should be fine. Alright. We can protect this. There are some uh, Haradrims coming, but it should not be a big deal because Nazgul was already able to recover a lot. Uh, we have enough power points now for the Scavenger, which means we get money every time we kill enemy units. Let's use Screech. You can see plus 7 all the time when we kill them. Um, and we can actually keep fighting with the Orcs all the time. It's all about stalling time. We're gonna lose this orc pit, unfortunately, but it is so it is. The next step from the spellbook is going to be definitely the darkness. As we are gonna save for the Witch King and make the transition later on. With the G key on your keyboard, you can guard this area. So he's gonna attack everything automatically himself. Because sometimes you know that even uh, there are, you know, even if there are units there are units close to your Nazgul, they don't attack automatically. With the G key, that's gonna be different. Because he's gonna guard this area. And attack everything inside this area you are trying to protect with your gut G from the keyboard. Okay, we have the uh, Witch King now. Very good. Uh, we have four slaughterhouses here. Uh, let's make an orc, uh, orc pit once again because we lost this before. Now we need to demolish one of these orc pits. Make a slaughterhouse in the front. And I would like to make, make my troll cage in the back side. The reason why we need additional um, slaughterhouse is simple. Because what we need is a food bonus, which is going to reduce the cost of our trolls, pretty much. Otherwise, they're going to be quite expensive. Trolls without any slaughterhouses is going to cost you uh, 1,200 resources. Oh, there is Sauron, the White, and Lords, and everybody. This is going to become scary. I'm assuming we're going to lose this outpost. We have to use, your, uh, you, you know, use our Nazgul's and Witch King later on. To definitely keep killing this uh, catapults, trebuchets, or whatsoever. We are getting a lot of money from the scavenger, so it's a really great investment. For 15 for kill for a kill on these berserker units. And Nazgul has a splash damage, that's why. Oh, let's kill this uh, combos there. Oh, there is also a Nazgul from our opponent, though. All right, there is a Teodin. I see him. Um, which king is more tanky? But he needs to attack, of course. Uh, let's use the Tainted Lands here, so we deny leadership. Uh, please, Witch King, attack somebody. We have the Troll Cage up on the fields now. Witch King is a little bit more resistant, yes, but is, is this gonna be enough? This is the question. We are losing the entire map control. Luckily, we have this uh, the Nazgul from the opponent that's been taken down. 
support the Witch King, please, Nazgul. Kill the archers first because they are the biggest threat. Uh, we have now enough power points for the darkness. We gotta keep an eye on the Witch King's health to not lose him. Very important to keep him alive. He is the MVP right now in our in our team. Uh, you know, you know. Oh, 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 oh! We gotta kill this. We gotta kill this. When they're a group like this, when they're using the shield ball formation like this, you can actually kill many of them. And oh, we gotta be careful. The visa blast from this—I mean, the fireball from this person can actually kill us. We gotta kill these siege weapons, though. We have almost the money for the for the third Nazgul. I believe that's that's gonna be our goal to actually. Oh, but the fireball is. Oh my goodness! Don't 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 don't. All right. The thing with the Nazgul or the Witch King is they can you know get in safety by flying over everything else. You screech. Even if we lose the Nazgul, we have to kill these Baristas. Very important. We have now enough money for the third Nazgul. And we have to rebuild these towers. Luckily, we were able, barely able to save our Witch King. Scavenge is being useful, of course. The Witch King is going to recover over time. We have to be patient and wait. Don't risk the biscuits because, yeah, you can revive your Nazgul and the Witch King for free. But you got to keep in mind that um, it's going to take you a lot of time to actually revive them. The Witch King is recovering. We should be just waiting for a little bit more, I guess. Uh, let's try to kill his Theorin with our stuff. Towers and Nazgul, because he's giving leadership uh, to the enemy units. That's why there is a trebuchet we gotta kill. Now we we can potentially move. We gotta wait for the drama troll. All right, let's kill this. Let's use darkness as well. Bring the witch king closer. They, this way they have more experience and more damage. I mean, I need to use the eye of Sauron here. All right, we're gonna kill the Saruman next, please. Be careful with the witch king. Slap Saruman. There we go. Keep moving. The drama troll is on the field. Sport him. Sport uh, the things. Alright. In the meantime, let's move forward. Let's try to take down this outpost, shall we? These are our Nazgul's and stuff. So we should be fine. Uh, kill this, please. Alright. <laughs> Look how many Berserkers he's sending forward. We gotta rebuild this stuff. There is a... Uh, Mine we need to kill first. Let's make this slaughterhouse so we are safe. Please, Witch King, kill this. Where are our trolls at? Uh, trolls are still alive. That's pretty good. But look at this Berserkers, though. The bottom here is actually screwing, out, screwing, screwing our troll big time. Uh, so let's bring him. But it looks like we're going to lose every single troll, unfortunately. We got to keep making more. But money is a problem, too. And our Nazgul's are taking free damage. Kill the Balistas, run for your life. No, we cannot run anymore. We're gonna lose them, unfortunately. Boromir is diving in. Our Witch King is quite slow, and also our Nazgul is quite slow. We got it. Oh, we lost them. We need to revive them both. It looks like Legolas was able to kill him with the Hulk Strike. So it's not easy as you can see yourself. It's really, really, really not easy. Now, Legolas is gonna shoot down our uh, Witch King. Make a tower. There is also Aragorn, as I can see. Uh, let's try. That is also Faramir. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we gotta kill this. We gotta try to kill this. That is still an explosive mine. Keep Witch King closer. So the troll is gonna be stronger. We gotta kill this uh, Legolas. Slap. Okay, slaps. Nice one. Right, Legolas is down. That means we don't need to be scared. We can now take down these siege works. I mean, these trebuchets. But there is an Aragorn we have to be careful about. Uh, let's kill him. We have to kill him. Alright. Let's see. He's using the Blade Master. Uh, and he has also used the heal. Oh, this is so tough. I don't know. It's getting tougher and tougher and tougher. We gotta kill him. Our darkness is not available anymore. We gotta use the Eye of Sauron to actually give him leadership. Let's use the Witch King. Uh, actually to support the troll on his mission to kill Aragorn, the king of Gonzo. The troll is faster than every infantry hero on the field. But is he strong enough to take down Aragorn? The answer is yes, with this much leadership. Kill everything, please. There we go. Kill his mines. Parami has been taken down. The siege continues. Kill this. We have almost the power points we need for... Um, the Balrog, which we need to use to defeat one of the opponents as soon as possible. We can use now the industry once again on our buildings, just like that. 
and builds, keep building, keep building, keep building. We, not, we cannot afford to lose our uh, say it. We cannot afford to lose our uh, citadel because that's gonna delay our Nazgûl even more. Kill this Trebuchet Witch King, please. And as long as we don't lose Witch King, I believe we are gonna be in kind of good spot. There are multiple mines at the <laughs> at the citadel. We gotta kill these mines. They are so tanky. I, you know, I cannot believe it. There is another Trebuchet. We have, there is a lot of stuff we have to kill, man. Come on, kill this, please. Kill this, please. All right, this has been taken down too. We need to kill these mines because otherwise they're gonna make us boom. Can, I, can we not kill them? We can. Okay, we one shot them. That's pretty good. Kill this, please. He should be dead. We get so much money for for killing stuff. And now we killed all the things because this guy was trying to go inside the jeans and uh, make it boom. We need some more trolls, definitely. We have three trolls only so far on the field. Gotta use the Witch King once again. To we have to kill this outpost now, pretty much, right? We have to kill this outpost now and try to buy it for us. Uh, let's use darkness to make them stronger, shall we? And uh, there is Gimli, as I can see, Ballista. Uh, we gotta kill this uh, Saruman first with our trolls because he has a lot of potential to actually take them down with the fireball and stuff. But he's getting slapped. Oh, I, I would like to get the kill with my trolls because they're gonna hit level 2 or level 3 even. Saruman is so fast, but not fast enough. Let's kill this stuff too. That is a trebuchet coming from this building. Let's use Eye of Sauron and put the drama troll next to them. As well as our heroes. In the meantime, that is uh, a Gimli, but we gotta kill the Berserkers first. Uh, kill this stuff, please, trolls. Kill, commit against this. Afterwards, there is another. There are another trolls. We gotta use to kill these berserkers before they finish off the citadel. All right. Nazgul is back in the business. We can pro we can use the Nazguls. Kill these trebuchets as soon as possible, and we also have to kill this Legolas. Okay. So I believe we were able. We will be able to destroy this outpost. No big deal. And we have now the power points we need for the Balrog summon. So who we gonna take down first? This is the question. I don't know yet. Uh, we were able to save that, which is good. And kill Gimli too, please. There we go. And Legolas should be getting killed there as well. Okay. And now we gotta use the Witch King to kill this Ballista. And I believe the first target from... Oh! Okay, you are the boss, man. Uh, I was not paying attention for a single second. Nazgûls are so vulnerable against pretty much this guys. Kill this. Furnace, furnace, furnace. Kill this, please, too. You protect this area. And you disengage from Faramir, please. Let's make some more trolls, shall we? And then we have to kill this Rohan first, I believe. Let's kill Rohan first. Because I believe this is going to be the easiest thing to do. Okay, so fly inside. As we fly, we're going to use Ignite. And once Balrog is the one who is tanking everything. We gotta use the Witch King to support him on his mission. Nazgul is getting revived. This Nazgul is doing a nice job protecting. And uh, let's use the Breath Fire right there. There we go. That should be killing all these buildings. No big deal. Uh, with the Nazgul, I mean with the Witch King, we can kill this zero person structure there. We could select it, of course. Alright, but I, I, I cannot even select that with the Witch King for some reason. Now probably I have to fly. <laughs> Alright, we can now potentially buy this. Our Nazgul got killed somehow. I don't know how, but we have defeated one heart army at least, that's something. Buy this. And then fly with the Witch King. Kill this trebuchet, it's very important. Uh, we need to kill this elven warriors too. But first of all, we gotta make towers here just to be safe. And in this space, instead of making slaughterhouses, we have to make furnaces because again, they are way tankier. We gotta kill this katas. We, our trolls are dying, they have rangers and everything. Elite units all around the place. Disengage now. Uh, kill this catapult too. Are we reviving the second Nazgul? Yes, we are. 
Let's make some more trolls. Yes, because we have barely any units around. Please kill this ranges Witch King. And the Warning Arrow doesn't deal too much damage to uh, Witch King, unlike to the Nazgul's, by the way. That, you know, Witch King is much more resistant. Now we have to fly to this base to save it. This outpost is going to be taken down eventually, but it's fine. It, it, you know, at least this outpost is keeping the trolls away. I mean, the units from our main uh, camp away, which is very important. We got to kill this cutter first. Let's use Screech so to disengage them from our base. And we got to have to wait now for our Nazgûls. We got to also have to wait for some more units to come on the field. In the meantime, our Nazgûl or Witch King should be enough to protect this. All we have to do is kill the siege weapons because they are the biggest threat. This is rebuilding over time, which is good. We have to now kill this next. It is an explosive mine, but shouldn't be able to do much. Without without any unit, it can make it boom. I would like to grab trees, but the problem is, guys, we have no trees nearby to our base, pretty much, you know? Oh, oh there are some trebuchets. Witch King. Witch King is working hard in this game. <laughs> no man can kill me. Prove your statement, Witch King. Prove your statement. And luckily... I mean, we lost a lot, but we were able to keep our Witch King alive all game long. So far, at least. I don't want to jinx it, jinx it of course. Uh, and that is another Ballista, so we gotta kill it. Our Nazgul should be on the field very soon. In the meantime, we are getting some more trolls. We have the darkness available. And then we're gonna potentially be able to run it down. Oh, 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 oh. Witch King, Witch King, Witch King, Witch King, Witch King, Screech. We gotta kill this mine before they bomb boom it. Very important. We also have to kill this mine. Kill this mine, but it's so tanky, this mine, against the Witch King. Look how many hits I need to hit him. Luckily, all the Berserkers died. Uh, oh, one more hit. Come on, nice. Kill this trebuchet. Kill the Ballista right after. The siege spam from this uh, Heart Army is really, really insane. It's driving me crazy. It's literally driving me crazy. You have to peel back a little bit. I don't want to lose my Nazgul's again. We lost a couple of structures, but it's, it's not a big deal as long as we keep the Zitter alive. We can keep rebuilding stuff too. Um, we need to kill Boromir next. He's very low. We have now enough power points to unlock everything, including the Vestation and this. The Vestation can give us immediately money, as you could see. And we are using it on the trees. And now we're gonna wait for the, for the next troll and then we're gonna move forward. And actually we're gonna try to defeat this Gonzo because he's annoying me with his trebuchets. Big time. Okay. This is safe too. And yeah. I believe we are in a good spot, Kappa, because they keep sending units, but it is how it is. I'm going to ignore that, actually. Actually, what I can do, potentially, I can use the, one of the Nazgûls. We have to kill this first, this catapult. Screech is available, so I'm not worried about this units right there. And as long as we kill the siege weapons, we are fine, anyway. Let's kill this first. Can also use uh, Eye of Sauron here and use Balrog right after. Okay, let's do that. Balrog summoned. There we go. And now move on. Kill this. As we, as we are walking with the Balrog, we are able to you know, kill stuff because he's dealing area damage. It was a really bad breath fire, by the way. Horrible breath fire. Come on, Ignite. He's not trying to attack. Can we do it? Yeah, we did it. Right, we did it. Very good. Oh, we didn't do it, but we have to We have to do it. Uh, where are the trolls, by the way? Are they moving forward or, or something? Where are our trolls at? Am I blind? Did we lose them all? Let's see what they say about that. Come on, kill these units there. Do it. Alright. In the meantime... Send them... So this side, there is Saruman, we have to avoid fighting. Oh, there are the trolls, finally. We gotta keep him, uh, make a move now, kill this. 
We have to kill this stuff just to just to be able. Oh, there is in Asgo, but it's not from us. Okay, I forgot that there is still a mortar open, and luckily, a couple of the furnaces are level three now. And uh, let's kill this also. Let's use darkness. Why not? We have some more abilities. Oh, he bought this actually. Such a nerd. Why would you do that? I'm gonna lose it right after. This. I mean, they are just trying to trigger me. You know what I'm saying? That's what they are trying to do, really. Drama trolls, please spot them. We gotta kill this outpost as soon as possible, too. Oh, the smite! I am no man. She's screaming and smiting our witch king and almost one-shotting him, actually. Just like that. By this. And then we gotta kill this Eowyn first. The cover with the witch king, don't risk the biscuit, keep him alive, no matter what. And uh, trolls are gonna smash this uh, Eowyn, no big deal. Just like that. And then we're gonna keep moving to this side. Let's make furnaces once again because, you know, like mentioned a couple of times in this game, they are way tankier. Okay? We can also make some more units, protect, potentially protect this side. I could see, but let's kill this farm, just why not? Uh, to get some more. Uh, at this point of the game, we're also not gonna make any more slaughter. Uh, Lumber mills, I mean. Careful with the Nazgul. Uh, there is a Nazgul we need to kill. Use all this stuff to kill him. Okay. Is that Boromir or something? Someone is knocking us down on the ground all the time. Kill this trebuchet, please. There is Boromir, I believe, right? But what is knocking us down? I don't get it. Maybe this maybe this trebuchet was knocking us down. Quick tip with the drama trolls. Um if you attack with the drama trolls, they are not able to give experience or leadership. So you gotta make sure to not attack with the drama trolls. For some reason, I don't know if it's back or not, but it is how it is. Uh, they are not giving you any leadership if they are attacking. Okay, we destroyed this outpost and one more opening has been defeated. Now we have a clean side around this side. Three um, camps and also the second outpost now, which is very good. And now we can keep moving. I believe we are still quite tanky. And we can also now afford to make some more units. Uh, we killed this one. Let's make a slaughterhouse here instead of the... Oh, wait a second, let me also buy stuff here. Just to be, you know, sure that this is not gonna be taken down any soon. Now our next target is going to be this Rohan. We can also use devastation. Not that we need money, because look our money now. And that's what I was trying to say also in the Gonzo video, you know? We had a couple of days ago. Because Gonzo, Elendil, okay, you wanna use Elendil? I, I'm fine with that. Use Elendil all you want, brother. Against my mighty trolls. Slap him. I mean, this, the trolls are not attacking the king. Okay, there we go. Level 7, by the way. Let's kill this. Witch king is getting targeted. We gotta be careful with the witch king. Kill this elven warriors. Keep witch king kinda close, but not too close. And with the drama troll, we gotta dance around because we want him to not attack. To keep permanently the leadership up. And also move, make sure to move. look for slap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna potentially lose this one. Maybe we can send one of the Nazgul's there just to be, you know, protecting this area. Don't attack Drama Troll. But there is another Nazgul. This is not from we have, this is from us. Okay, At the Drama Troll, please don't attack. Holy guacamole! How many times do I need to say it? Okay, can we protect this outpost? That's the question. And maybe we can. But we gotta kill this Elven Warriors with the fighter upgrades first. Look how much damage they are able to deal. Use Screech. Um, we have also destroyed this one. Let's help with the trolls, shall we? Kill this stuff too. Witch King is gonna kill this Barista first. Before he destroys our uh, troll. And you help, you help also to kill the buildings. Look how much damage this troll is dealing, guys. Do you see that? Let's use Darkness because it's available, just why not? And now we can maybe coordinate a attack to this uh, outpost with three siege weapons. We lost one of the Nazgul's though. Let's revive him immediately. Uh, you kill this and we will be able to buy this back. I mean buy this base. Hmm. Okay, the Witch King has to fly to this side. Definitely to protect this. We lost the trolls. I don't know how and why. But it is how it is. Uh, let's kill this units first. Then fly to this... Uh, can you please? Oh. There is a building 
Which is buggy, kinda. I cannot click on it. Can I not click on it? I don't know what's happening. I cannot click on it. You are able to save this for now. Let's kill this, shall we? Look how many ballistas he has. This guy is a madman. Slap. 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 They are also not dealing too much damage. I cannot, I cannot destroy this base. Maybe it's because I'm using HD edition, I'm not sure. But it feels like I cannot destroy this base. Let's make some more trolls. I don't know why we are not doing it in the, in the first place. Atas are being still sent forward. Let's use Eye of Sauron here and use the Balrog to destroy this base right after. And yeah, let's fly inside, shall we? <laughs> Look, Sauron. We're gonna use uh, Ignite as we, you know, at the same time as we fly. Kill this and then we're gonna use Breath Fire right there. Step a little bit forward, this way we can hit all these three buildings, as you can see. And if you kill, kill you know, three buildings in the camp with Balrog, uh, it's quite easy to destroy everything. Just like that. Okay, we'll fly, use this one again. Come on. Alright. You can also use Fire Whip against this. I cannot believe it. We cannot destroy this one for some reason. I don't know if we can afford to use another breath fire. But we have to save the space. Holy guacamole. And we couldn't destroy this one for some reason, man. Let's send our trolls maybe forward. Maybe they can do the work. Who knows? And he was able to buy this one. So let's let's make something different. So let's make triple troll cage because we have I think no more problem with the money, so we can always spend it. Let's try to repair this. So uh, because uh, I mean that I believe that he's spamming too many catapults from this side, pretty much, right? And that's why we need to destroy them because this unit he was using heal. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, what a sportive player he is! Rams and everything. This Nazgul should be back on the field very, very soon. Oh, okay, okay. We have also Nazgul. I see you. I see you. Please kill this tower. Dude, I told you guys to fly here. Please fly. Listen to me. Listen to my calls. Now it's too late. Now it's too late. You're gonna fly over this, really? Kill these units first before they kill you, actually, guys. Trolls, please. Oh, we were actually able to save him, which is quite nice. Nice. Sports with this area with the Witch King. Very good. Uh, but we're gonna, unfortunately, end up losing this one. But it is how it is. Now we can make some more trolls. Okay, Heart Army has been defeated. Now we can finally buy this outpost there. I mean, this camp right after. And let's move forward maybe to this to kill all these siege weapons. We gotta send um, the Witch King first because Witch King can make sure to kill these ballistas. And then we're gonna use the trolls to kill the Zita first. Use Darkness also just to make them stronger. As well as uh, the Eye of Sauron. Come against the Zita first. Kill this ballista before he kills our trolls. Oh, but somehow these trolls are dying quite fast. Maybe because of the arrows from the level 3 siege weapons. And they have also no drama troll spot, of course. Let's spot this area with the Nazgul's, shall we? Right. Just focus down the buildings as soon as possible. And we're gonna focus all with our Nazgul's to destroy this outpost next. He's kinda ignoring our uh, outpost there completely. Look how tanky these level 3 siege weapons are, that's unbelievable. And they are also dealing a lot of damage to our Witch King, which is... Unexpected. But we have to destroy this because it's the most annoying thing ever when they spam siege weapons on you. And you will have to deal with like 1,500 ballistas and 8,000 trebuchets. Last building. Okay, let's protect this area. Now we have an army indeed worthy of Mordor. And we will have to reclaim this camp we lost before. That's what we have to do. 
Okay, now we can also buy this. There we go. Buy. Okay, so buy this one next. Just why not? And afford it. And then we're gonna do the same pretty much here. Let's make furnaces. And Rohan and Mord are not able to make towers, unlike Isengard and, Gord uh, Isengard and Gonzo in BFME 1. Just in case you don't know, we gotta kill these ballistas. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know our true army's power and strength. We are quite strong right now. But he has also Witch King. Okay, you win. I retreat. You win. You are the winner. Why don't you chase us, Witch King? Chase us. But he's smart, this guy. He has also two Nazgûls. Looks like this Isengard was able to buy the space back, but it is so it is. We are still able to protect this for now. Um, but maybe we can try to save this area. And now with this mighty trolls in darkness on cooldown, unfortunately, but we have eye almost back up. Let's kill this lords first with this troll, shall we? Look, they are charging. Lords, you better run for your life, my dude. You better run for your life. Okay, let's move forward. Next stop is this outpost at this side. Kill this ballista, please. I believe this is still safe. He might lose this one, but it's fine. Um, part of me just wants to spam all the katas, you know? Let's make katas too. But you can, I can do that to my friend. Kill this. Kill this ballista too. Eye is available. Maybe we can use the... Look this, look this ballista is so annoying. Darkness is still on cooldown, that's why. Okay, nice. Mm, this is gonna be potentially taken down, but it's fine. We have now really strong trolls, and we are gonna get even more than that. And now I'm gonna show this guy what it, what it means to spam katas. What it means to be annoying. By this outpost. Kill this lord. And then we're gonna not stop, but move immediately forward. With almost darkness also. But let's send the drama trolls forward, because if you don't know, drama trolls are kinda tankier. Uh, then... Charge. And then the mountain trolls against arrows at least. Okay, let's use darkness to make them really strong. Now they have the maximum leadership with I. I is on cooldown, but it's fine. I'm gonna show you how strong they can be when Witch King is nearby. Look, their damage against Sita, which is one of the most tankiest buildings in the game. Make sure to not attack with the drama trolls, because they're gonna not give you leadership like mentioned a couple of times. Let's see how fast we're gonna be able to take down the Saruman. Look, they are glowing, shining bright like a diamond. Saruman is running for his life, but slap, 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 and he's down. 300 resources we gained for killing the White Wizard of Isengard. Just like that. Kill the armory next, focus down the slaughterhouses, we can now split them too and attack multiple buildings at the same time. Just like that, and this person will be defeated next. In the meantime, our Nazgûls have taken care of this camp. Our base should be fine and protected. Let's kill this building first. After killing this level 3 furnace, and this Isengard at the bottom left side is going down. Nice, so... Okay. Uh, Alright, so I believe we don't need to use uh, anything else to destroy this one. But what we can potentially do is... I was able to buy the space back though. But it's fine, we're gonna, we're gonna not stop now. The trolls, they are not here to make, to make a rest. They are here to fight. That's what they are famous for. They are attack trolls from Mordor. Right, let's build some furnaces and towers. Towers, 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 towers. Very important stuff to build towers in every single spot. Okay, let's move. Support them with the Witch King, so Witch King has to be around all the time. Now focus. Focus down the buildings. One by one. Okay. Witch King closer. Everything is getting one-shotted at this point because these buildings are level one only. Look how tanky this Uruk pit is level 3. That's unbelievable. You gotta kill the crossbow man. We kill the armory to defeat the space. Okay, we are gonna buy this, but we are not gonna stop. We are gonna move right to this. I mean, this Easterlings, come on. This rune soldiers? Are you kidding me? 
I'm gonna run you down, brother. And guys, let me know in the comment section below if you think that this army is worthy of Mordor, if this army is worthy of Sauron himself. And if you wanna, you know, check for more BFME content in the future, you should be definitely uh, taking a look also into our Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. I would love to meet you in the, in the next live stream, and all you have to do is go in the description down below and click on the Twitch link, just like that. Right, smash, smash. These are Hulks from Middle Earth, you know, Hulk smash. Nice, so this outpost got destroyed. We were able to destroy even this camp. Unfortunately, we end up losing one of the Nazguls, but it's fine. It's fine because you know I, I trade a Nazgul for a for an entire camp, but that's the scary part now, because he has Nazguls. So, oh, he has Nazguls. That's not good for us. Please kill this before we're gonna lose the space literally after five seconds of buying it. Uh, okay. I. I believe this is not gonna be. We're not gonna be able to destroy this one, but it's fine because uh, we can destroy it right after with our uh, say it kill this uh, Balrog. Actually, we need to use Balrog summon now. Right there we go. All right, Balrog of Moria. Flee, you fools! All right, let's move forward to the side as well. Same time, kill this first. Move it slow, fly there, oh wait a second, we can use maybe breath, oh that's not gonna be a good breath fire I'm assuming, or, actually not bad. Oh rain, that's the first time he is using rain, which means we have no leadership available anymore. And it looks like we lost a lot actually, maybe it was an explosive mine, I'm not sure, I was not paying attention as always, becoming rusty. We were able to protect this space at least, that's good. And Balrog should be able to finish off this base by flying on top of the Zitter and using Ignite at the same time. Ignite! Attack it, Balrog. Attack it. Attack it! Balrog, attack it! I can't. I can't target it. There we go. Use... Look the Witch King! Witch King, be careful! Kill this Ballista. Let him not buy this back, please. Witch King is running for his life, but we are being chased down by multiple stuff. Bye. Nice. Fly away. <laughs> Alright. Kill this. Is Witch King able to survive? Probably not, but he's stopping actually to attack us, which is good for us. Let's make furnaces here. Let's try to buy, let's buy some time. Okay. I think the reason why he's not defeated is because he was buying this back. And maybe even this one. I'm not sure. But we lost this, actually. Where are the towers at? Sure. Let's use industry here yeah, because industry is also gonna make your buildings hit level 2 or level 3 or whatsoever way, way fast. Keep sending forward. Uh, we have a couple of trolls we need to recruit very soon. Money is not a problem. We have already lots of trolls here. The okay, Witch King was able to survive. Uh, our. Uh, oh, but we're gonna potentially lose this one again. But I think it's okay. It's okay. Alright, make furnaces. Make more towers and more catapults. And then we're gonna try to be annoying as well as they were annoying to us. Alright, our level 3 furnace. Which can save your ally. Oh man. We lost them. We lost this one as well. And we're gonna lose this one as well. Holy quackamole. Uh, make more go there I mean luckily we were able to save and we have now many many trolls on the field so we need to reclaim this first um, before doing anything else and we have also stuff to kill here these catapults are annoying I'm gonna make like a bunch of katas too like that all right this is gonna go down there is no way we can save this but maybe I have an idea. We have to kill this outpost first, I'm assuming, right? That's what we have to kill. And that should be also easy to kill. You know, he has berserkers and stuff. I mean, uh, war riders and stuff. That's why Asgul is back in the business. Uh, kill this. Yeah, yes. And you protect this one. 
right? Kill this crossbow man, please. Crows are charging, let's use darkness, make them stronger, and Witch King is gonna be nearby anyway. Kill, kill. Alright, just focus down the buildings. Alright, it looks like we're gonna potentially lose this area, unfortunately. Where are our drama trolls at? They are coming, that's good. Destroy this. Alright. I've also catapulted my friends. Our hard army has been defeated. I think that was the last beast from somebody. I don't know. I don't know who, who that was. We can check though. So we have defeated one, two, three, four, five so far. And we have again uh, still two opponents to defeat. And one of them is you know is recruiting war riders against uh, our uh, <laughs> trolls. But oh the rain! So we have at least one Isengard, we already know that. Let's kill this, please. Make more catapults, more catapults, more catapults. Okay, let's move now to this base, please. Did he buy this base? Let me check. Oh, yeah, he did buy it. So we could, otherwise we could be using the Tainted Land, but we can't. Uh, let's se select the Drama Troll. And press U on the keyboard and right click on the troll so he's gonna follow him all the time. Slam. Bam, bam. Too many, too many of them. 250. I believe Scavenger was giving us so much money. That's unbelievable, actually. Scavenger was giving us so much money. We've expanded the great siege okay. They're attacking. Oh. Kill. We can use that catapult. All right. Um. Hey, you want to this? Come on. We cannot command any more troops. Mm -hmm. By the spec. And kill this ballista, please. Uh, kill this ballista too, Witch King. Don't sleep. You are not here to sleep, you are here to work for Sauron. You are the best servant of Sauron. Gotta focus the buildings. We have unfortunately still no uh, no leadership because of the rain. We're gonna make triple siege works in the, in the behind just to spam a lot of katas because they triggered me. They triggered me. They spammed a lot of katas too. Now I'm gonna show them. What it means to, what it really means to spam katas. Okay. Orphia of Mordor. Wait a second. Let me make two drama trolls here. Then we're gonna make trolls, trolls, trolls. Then we're gonna make katas here. Kata, C C C C C C C C C C. Is this is the shortcut? Defeat, 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 defeat. Move forward. You kill. There we go. That's the spirit. Wait a second. Give me. Let me use Eye of Sauron because you need to get vision to use the Balrog summon. All right. Let's fly inside the jeans, shall we? Okay. Oh, he's using devastation on me. What a madman. All right, nice hit. We killed also the towers. Fly, ignite. Just like that. Kill. Kill this one next. Trolls are charging. We have, it looks like we have leadership back in the business. Make sure to not move with the drama troll. To not attack with the drama troll, I mean, keep moving. Balrog, we gotta keep an eye on Balrog too. Let's use fire whip here. Let's use this one here and then we're gonna move fly on top of the of the tower to kill him too just like that and now we can buy this one too looks like we have lost this outpost but it's fine we're gonna be able to destroy this one kill this ballista first kill this base and the nazgul should be able to secure himself this one as well okay let's move forward now we have also katas but they are not doing anything do something katas please Oh, Nazgul, please. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That's a, that's a only a couple of Urukai. I thought they are Berserkers. They could have taken down this in no time. Saruman is coming too. Using Fireball against the Furnace, which was building up to make us lose some money. But guess what, Saruman, the White? Joke's on you. We have a lot of money. So I don't mind. I don't mind to lose a couple of cents. 
Okay, let's buy some more. There we go. Build, 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 build. Build a army worthy of Mordor. Okay, let's buy this outpost back. And let's also move forward with this catapult army. As we are gonna buy this outpost, which this Nazgul is gonna protect. We're gonna lose the trolls, unfortunately, because they are deciding to not attack. Our camp, they destroyed our camp, which is not what we want. Um, which camp did we lose? This camp. Make more katas. Uh, you guys move to this outpost, please. And you guys move um, to this outpost too. Alright, so what's the plan? Um. We have a lot of trolls here too, so let's select them and say let's go here, nice. Okay. By the way, if you don't know guys, a Drama Troll is also able to give leadership to the a catapults, just in case you don't know, but this fire damage from Saruman's fireball. In the meantime, when you have too many bases, it's hard to micro them all, you know what I'm saying? Like, kill this, please. With your belly. Focus down the siege works. Kill the buildings only. Don't have to kill the units. Bam, 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 bam. But it's so, it's so tanky, this level 3 siege works. Unbelievable. But there, but, uh, but there comes the cavalry. There comes the reinforcements. We lost one of the Nazgul, did we revive him? Nope, we didn't, unfortunately yet. And we also gotta use them for this outpost, though. I really wanna kill this outpost really badly. Okay. Um, nice, so I believe that this is the last remaining camp from Isengard, and this is the last remaining outpost. If he didn't buy this outpost back. No, he didn't. So this is not under his control. Kill this Barisas. Did we lose all our catapults? Yes, we did, so we cannot finish this off. Unfortunately. Oh, oh. I didn't watch. <laughs> they were charging for no reason. There are our catapults. We've also catapults here, right? There we go. Nice. You guys move to this side, please. Which king was able to survive? Let's build these towers back in the business. And the siege works. I mean, the siege wars, not works. Siege Wars is real. You guys, you troll. Uh, you capture this outpost for us. Very important. Lord has been taken down. And we're gonna have some more katas coming from this. So let's sandwich this outpost, shall we? And now is the time for the Mordor faction to shine bright like a diamond. As we see the Balrog from Moria. Fly inside. I'm, I summon the White Dragon. <laughs> All right, use it. Bam! Let's move. Don't e don't do anything else. And we're gonna use breath fire. This guy is trying to fight us with war riders. This is a demon from my ancient world. That's how strong he is. Please don't even try me. Tarmon, you wanna fight? Tarmon, you wanna fight? Pew! Oh, he's thank you, this guy. But I was not ignited. Tarmon, you wanna fight? Pew! <laughs> oh, Saruman. Hello, darkness, my old friend, I see. I see, Saruman. Oh, rain. Oh, rain. What is rain gonna do for you? This guy's back flying. He's styling on you. Gonna use breath fire one more time. Alright, so we are in good terms. It was really hard, but I believe we have now what it takes to finish off this game. And uh, we have only this base to defeat, I'm assuming, right? Ah. Oh! And Saruman is going down, just like that. Um, you guys fight until this spot. We are getting a army worthy of Moro, like always. Let's get some trauma trolls before anything else. We are also able now to make more command points, as we have defeated many opponents. And we have also here an army, Worthy of Moro. We have also here a Kata army, Worthy of Mordor. Look how many Katas we have. Alright, so we're gonna do, what we're gonna do now is simple. We're gonna actually 
just sent katas forward okay so you're gonna this is a payback okay this is a payback so when this happens to you in a real game this is the way you can pay back so we're gonna make a camp with full siege works all alone that's what we gotta do and then we are going to spam catapults from every single one of these buildings and attack this Isengard with nothing else nothing else I said nothing else please Oh, there is still an outpost from him too. Okay. Uh oh. I think we made him mad because he's also summoning Balrog now, running over our trolls. Trolls, kill him. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> All right, he's using Breathfire against our troll. Come on. Oh, we gotta protect this. You attack me, I attack you back. So don't do that to me. Look how much money we have. It's unbelievable. If we have, okay, all of a sudden I have no much, not much money left because we are very investing like millions of gold into making some more catapults. The siege begins and the siege won't end until tomorrow. Release, release the mountain troll. We are also getting mountain trolls on the field. The space is safe for now. And if you want to be able to zoom out like this, that's possible in BFMU1, by the way. There is a tool and there is a link in the description down below, guys. Just scroll down in the video description until you find zoom out BFMU1. It's like that. It's it's as easy as that. You destroy this outpost. Uh, we have drama trolls too, right? Yeah, let's make one more drama troll. And make more trolls just like that. Nice one. Okay. I mean, actually... We are not winning this because he has some units to deal with our uh, siege weapons, but that's fine. That's fine. Who's next? If also the outposts here, we're gonna move all the time from all the sides. Who's next? Who's next? Let's go this side. Let's siege this side from these uh, with these catapults we got, and we're gonna get some more catapults from this one every couple of seconds. We gotta be used for dealing with this enemy units, please. Don't sleep. And if anything goes wrong, or if something goes wrong, and if we won't be able to achieve what we are looking for with our catapults all alone, look, here's a here's a <laughs> here's a lumber mill next to my base, and also here. But I believe this outpost is going down for sure. There is no way you can save this one at this point. Okay. So look at this troll army, guys. Please. Really, really strong. If also Balrog, but we won't use it anymore. We're gonna definitely win this one without the Balrog usage. We are command points kept once again. Okay. We have also some more catapults from this, so we can move them to this one, just why not? And this is the last building remaining. Boom! Just like that, this outpost has been taken down. It leaves him only with this one outpost. And if anything goes wrong, I mean, we have indeed a army worthy of murder. Look at this. Trolls, let's charge. Let's charge trolls. Oh, but he used rain, which means we have no more leadership available. And we're gonna meet the trolls right here. With the drama trolls. Because the, the trolls are able to charge, the drama trolls are not. That means we will be careful to not reached oh uh oh this guy is still annoying me <laughs> this is unbelievable how, anno how annoying he is yeah. the citadel is lost really you lost something you lost the citadel here right yeah okay but it's fine it's fine okay, we are sieging also from this we meet all together here we're gonna rebuild this we are command points kept still, so we cannot make any more units. We have to wait until the dark, until the rain's effect is gone. By the way, uh, you destroy this one. You don't attack this, by the way. You don't attack this. You attack this one too. Right there. 
Okay, we are waiting like a minute, I believe, until the rain's effect is gonna be gone. Then we're gonna commit with the army, Worthy of Mordor. Just like that. And with this much leadership, with the Darkness, Witch King, Drama Troll, and Eye of Sauron, we should be able to pretty much be immune against, uh, against damage. Yeah? So, look at the trolls. Holy guacamole. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looks strong to me, looks strong to me. Look our money too. We have so much. Even though we have still many units in the queue, look, we have still many, many units in the queue from these catapult, from the siege works too. Oh, there is a Balrog. Oh, I'm gonna use my own Balrog to kill this Balrog, okay? Balrog fight. Ooh, yeah. Come here, Balrog. Pshew! You wanna, you wanna, you wanna battle? You wanna battle? Why are you running? Oh, you can, I can do that too. There we go. I win. I win Balrog. I win Balrog. My Balrog is stronger. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I believe leadership is almost back in the business. We lost to Nazgul because of that, but it is how it is. It's fine. It's fine. Our Balrog is victorious. You know, it's you know it is. You know, you know it is. Okay, we have leadership back in the business, guys. All right. So let's let's actually just take a look into what's gonna happen when we have the darkness available. Boom. Look, they are glowing, shining, bright, like an absolute diamond. Like, it's like a spell. My eyes are, you know, kind of... I don't believe my eyes. And this is not even the final form of these trolls, because we haven't thought, not even used the Eye of Sauron just yet. Now is the time. The Ballistas, can you even hurt my trolls with this much leadership? Can you even hurt them? Just in case you can, you have to kill you with the, Ballista, with the Witch King. Now the commencement against the siege forks. Holy guacamole! Look at this shining. Look at this brightness. Turn down the brightness of your phone because your eyes might be hurt. Victorious, just like that. GG well played, hard armies. You are good, but you are not good enough. Indeed, I think we have made Sauron proud. We have made Witch King proud. Witch King didn't die one time, I believe, in the entire game. You know, almost 4,000 units destroyed, you know, 176 structures destroyed, but lost more than we destroyed actually because it's hard when you have this many pieces and you are being attacked. I mean, the units are fine, but the siege weapons are the ones which are quite annoying. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content. I'll see you next time. Maybe I can even see you tonight in the live stream at Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. The link for that is going to be in the description down below. And... Have a fantastic weekend. See you. Bye-bye. Peace.